Hi guys, so this stuff has basically changed. I had this in my closet, and um, basically I just have some boxes for product I actually um, have a warranty still. So the box you see there has warranty, 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 and I just keep those there just in case I need to send items back because I know where they're at. And these are boxes I'm throwing away because of, they have warranty. So, and other books and stuff like that. So, going over here is where I have my unboxing set up. So, basically, um, these four markers are right here. So, I can literally um, place either drawing tablet here or basically um, put a, a book for drawing with pens and pencils right there. Um, and... Um, I have a drawing tab, uh, uh, a drawing tablet that go would be going right here, and the cable runs up this bundle of cables to the other side of the room to my switcher. That when I sit here, I can basically press a button on the stream deck here to literally, um, to 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 literally um control the monitor right here and drawing tablet and then this is my microphone I use in this area and so the stream deck I'll go over on the stream deck buttons later so over here is uh, my um, other monitor which is a 22 inch uh, LG monitor and it is used for um, viewing which right here and also um, when I when I need to draw it will be, be right I can see here and I can switch between the monitor because of what is right here is for the little um, HMI switch goes to the second port on my computer I'll explain that later but I'm just going into detail there's the overhead camera um, it's screwed down there so it faces down perfectly and uh, so um so right here is my um um Rode NT1 mini which is a, a microphone half over here for 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 this setup so here i can do a watch along because I have a um, camera that's going to be going over there, and um, that's going to be hooked to the ATEM. But and it can be recorded over here in OBS, and I can do kind of a watch along where I basically put a DV in here, watch over here, and it doesn't get picked up in the ATEM. But I can still do kind of a watch along kind of thing. So it's for streaming, and. Um, this monitor usually has OBS on there. And then, my TV, which is a 43-inch uh, LG TV. Um, this has one cable going into it, which is, uh, to the switcher, which is, um, the switcher is controllable by the stream deck, and the first cable is, goes to the Apple TV, which is, over there, the second cable goes to my ATEM. Third cable goes to my DVD player, which is over there. Right there, I have a control stream deck, which is basically just specifically for control of stuff in this area. And then um, over here is my wire loom of cable. Um, my IR blaster is right here that um, it's for setting IR signal to here, here, and my Blu-ray player, if I don't use a remote. Over here is uh, um, my switcher. Um, this switcher, basically the, the first input is, goes to, um, the first switcher um, goes to this, the first port, goes to the um, input of the little splitter over there that hooks up that monitor. 
that monitor any other two monitors in the room I mean the other monitor in the room and the drawing tablet that usually sits over there but it's being repaired um, and then number two goes to the f um, the first input which is number two of this port goes to input two of my Mac mini and then um, number three or number two is uh, hooked up to the first port of my Mac mini and then the third one is hooked up to this thing which is going to a docking station and that then goes to the USB docking station I have um, over here is my Apple TV over here is the A10 that usually has a cover on there but I was diagnosing an issue I had um, um, right here is the Mac Mini which has a USB hub a Thunderbolt dock which is down here which has some stuff hooked up to it this splitter goes to um, it goes to the um, input of my Mac and um, the other port goes to the ATEM down there first input and then the other one goes to goes to um, the other switch over here which is which is my actual the other it goes to the switch and then it goes to another place I don't remember offhand but going over here is uh, um, the first input is going to my ATEM the first the input is going to this ATEM and then the two outputs are going to the TV and the second port over there and then the um, second the port over here goes to this monitor which means what's mirrored on the ATEM what shows on the ATEM shows up on here and what shows up on this monitor was a 27 inch monitor also shows up on that switcher over there which means I can um, have this as my secondary display and this is my first display and so the first display would be mirrored on here if I had switched the input of that to input one I mean to input two it switches the main display to mirror that and that one and then if I switch it again, it switches that to input two of the Mac Mini, which is on the Thunderbolt. And then from there, um, I could basically have a mirror display. And on number three of that switcher, it, it, it basically mirrors what's on that screen on on the, my MacBook or the Lenovo Legion Go. It mirrors what's, what's on here and here. It mirrors what's on the Lenovo Legion Go and the MacBook on this screen which is mirrored the main screen there and then um, this is the main screen and then I have this uh, um, drawing tablet here which is used for annotation and just uh, simple sketches if I need it um, I have this camera right here that points down at the stream deck so when I um, record stream deck stuff I can basically press this and it gets picked up in the camera and then this camera is my face camera for here and it's the same camera that's there that's in over there and that's up here it's the same exact camera and then uh, this is on a monitor stand so usually don't see this camera it's basically above this camera so what you're seeing is just the is just me looking down like this and this one's above and not in the shot um my right electro voice re20 is the mic that's here going to my 1898 which i have a uh, routing audio from this monitor to there, which is being routed to my headphones and speakers. And then this one, which is my um, loop deck, 
this isn't hooked to my Mac Mini. This is hooked to my MacBook. So when I need to do some editing on my MacBook, I can just plug in this uh, Thunderbolt cable and then this comes live, this comes live, and so does um, a couple other things. It runs to this docking station, which is uh, which is a um, which is another one. It's the same exact one, but it is being used for an actual laptop or my Lenovo Legion Go. And I can just dock my little Nova League Legion Go and then play games on this monitor and uh, have this as a secondary monitor. Or this can be docked to here and it would basically show up as a sec first monitor and a secondary monitor. And this is my 32 inch panel. So the problem is with this one, it likes to show white screen and then turns red. And in order to fix that, you got to unplug it and then plug it back in occasionally. And that's if you turn it off, and that's fixable if you um, are using a smart plug. You can just say, turn off the smart plug of the name of the um, monitor, and it turns it off, and you turn it back on with the same smart plug, and it just um, fixes itself then. And then this one, which is my USB matrix, I had an issue setting this thing up. So basically, I thought the battery wasn't working. I took the remote apart, and it just didn't work. And so I ended up using, um, I ended up trying this. I had the battery in, then I put the plug in the IR blaster. I could finally control it because of it's supposed to have companion control, but it didn't have companion control. And so I ended up basically just, uh, um, Trying with the IR blaster and that fixed the issue. Cable management is pretty okay. This is my uh, MIDI controller I use for music production. Um, it's also just for the keyboard and mouse right here. And uh, um, this actually looks a lot better than it actually did. Um, I have this. Uh, um, this cable's running straight down because I needed to um, have a USB-C in. And the USB-C cable is going to my Thunderbolt 3, I mean my Thunderbolt 4 dock USB-C USB port. And so, and normally that cover is on, like this one, on that one, but I was diagnosing an issue I had. Because the issue was, um... The the mom the um the this camera was just showing black, and so I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and that didn't fix the issue. So what the issue was when I was setting up this camera here, um, because you had to set up with the remote, it ended up basically just um stopped working, and on um, the it changed the setting, and so I couldn't use it until I reset it up so I had to turn this one off turn off the one that was over turn off the one that was over there and then um hook this one back up to to a Windows computer and then trans and this then can change to HDMI on and, th and then it was done um this is an OREI um USB a matrix switch which just is meant for um switching input one to through four of the of the switcher and it has one input but four four different possible settings it could go to so I just uh, changed my um I just basically controlled it with uh, my IR blaster, which is connected to Comb Assistant. So yeah. Um, uh, this is my um speakers that I have. Um, new mouse. I replaced this with. I replaced my trackball with this because of the trackball was kind of being a pain in the butt. So I basically fixed this with the. I fixed it with this one, which is a MX Master, uh, three three P. Um, 
This is the MX, um, the, the Logitech MX Keys, I think it is, um, but, um, let's see, there's that, and nothing's on this loop deck on this specific computer right now. So, if we go this, Alexa, turn off light. Okay. I could basically um, control it with the with the, my voice, but for this specific setup, I'll show you each setup, okay? At each different location. Uh, so, I can't show you one of them because it doesn't have a camera. I'll just explain it to you. The one that's over over in this direction I have a setup where um, it turns on the TV and then turns on um, the camera and stuff like that but I don't have it um, camera set up over there so it'll error out because I'm running it on keyboard maestro so for this one when I press start setup I mean main says setup it turns it basically um, dims the stream deck it turns everything on other than other than uh that and uh other than um other than um what was it oh it's the thing that's behind the thing it's more than the actual um What's that thing called? The USB hub. So, and so if you look, it just turned those lights on, that lights on. It turns on this, moves it over there, and it moves the OBS over here. And so it starts the the stream deck. It starts the stream deck. Uh, it starts with the stream deck. It's so zoomed in. And so. If we go to where it would be, be at normally, is right here. If uh, we um, picked up the stream deck like this, because it would show it like this. See, so all, it shows all the treasure deck stuff. And uh, then, if we press it again, it'll turn everything off except for TV because I usually wouldn't have that on. So, let me just show you all the OBS stuff before I actually do actually that. So, before that, um, the PC2, when I press this, it turns to screen zero, which is uh, just input number um, one or input number two on the um, USB switcher. Then it does all, then it does two, then it does enter. And it switches to input number, um, input number two on the ATEM, or just cam one, I mean cam two. And it was just number 26. And then if you press it again, it switches it to cam 25, which is input number one, which is the Mac Mini. And then it does screen one, then it does all one, enter. These are just the names I site. So I give them, you could give it something else. So, um, the start recording basically unmutes mic one, mutes mic two and three, then it goes to camera five, which is um, button number 29, which is just input number one. And then it goes to delay, then it records, then it switches to intro, and it waits 9,000 milliseconds, and then it basically goes to talking head, then I can do all this stuff. Then it will go to intro, delay for nine seconds, stop recording, and then it will do delay for two seconds, cam one, which is number 25, delay, uh, 
OBS uh, Studio scene which is start and then it will go to studio um, audio mixer and will mute number one. That's all it does in number two. It's pretty much just that. Um, so number, so talking head basically just does the muting and I'm muting number one and it will go to uh, um, camera 29 or um, that's about it. And then it goes to, 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 to the talking head input. Then um, the next one, which is hand cam, it just turns on the hand camera and it um, gives me um, portability. This one, which is desktop open one, uh, desktop next two, and next one behind is desktop next three. And this one is uh, um, desktop exit four. This one, which is the uh, um, blackboard open. This one will open active, close active, and then, I mean, it, I mean, it opens active, then it does hold. Then it does um, by button number 29, which is camera five. Then it does camera one, which is um, number which is number one or 25. Then it holds a delay by um, 8,000. Then it does an unmute. Then it does a mute, mute, and then a unmute. And then, um, I mean, unmute it and then it does the actual blackboard scene. So, so I'm sorry if my hand was drawing down, but this is kind of weird. So, deactive will deactivate the scene, which will do all of the stuff. I'll go over that in key with when I go over keyboard metro. And then the stream deck will basically it'll go to hold, it'll go to wait, then it'll go to the mixer and mute stuff except for the main one and then it'll go to OBS scene which is talking head. Then the other one which is um drawing will just basically do drawing and um drawing scene and then also the whole scene which is the main scene and then it goes to camera one which is which is 30 and this is when I'm over at the um, unboxing table where the overhead is at and then there is Reddit which I haven't made an icon for but this opens cam one it opens Reddit it uh, um, uh, let's see it will open Reddit then it'll hold then at 14 seconds It'll mute, mute, and then it will unmute, then it will, and then after that, it will, um, Reddit quit, one, uh, let's see, um, hold, and the camera one will basically just switch it to camera 29. And then it will unmute camera mic one, mute two and three, and it will go to talking head. And this one basically, you you can play a VLC of basically um you you you, you actually can do um that. Um, so, for this we'll start VLC, um, camera 5, which is the camera, then it'll basically make this visible, start playing OBS, I mean, start start playing VLC as playback device and open it in the background. And, uh, let's see, time machine, 
does my time machine backups and also empties network trash so I could just run that and then there is um, anime, to, anime waifu which allows me to um, I'm randomly select a waifu uh, start editing it edits it allows me to edit my, my video um, then there is a upload button, copy button, uh, ex I mean upload, export, and copy, and then move. So it moves OBS to this window. One and two, three and four are scenes that are open for OBS. I mean, are the are OBS so compliant for um the stream for the um ATEM? and then volume I mean up and down which controls the which controls the the um the brightness volume up and down of number one I mean to do that and um server I mean speaker turns on my speaker for my system. And then this one, which is uh, the bound folder and other like project files that I like working on. Like this is like stuff that took a while for me to make. And so I'm actually pretty happy. And uh, uh, let's see. That's pretty much it, other than this folder, which is majestic stuff, so I'm pretty much happy with that. Number two is just a record button. Oh yeah, I forgot to say on this one, there's a record button too, so I could basically just turn that on. So, number two is... Um, it's a sleep button volume up and down for 25, I mean, at 5%. This is with all the volume ones. The lamp turns up the brightness and down the brightness. And then the OBS move moves OBS. And this one, which is my unboxing record station. And so when I press this one, it basically does, uh, it does the volume control it switches input to um, the second camera and uh, which is the um, unboxing then it um, then it would get well, would have quit but I decided I basically built the quit function into the into the um, file itself for uh, for um um I put it into the file for I don't know I remember I put it into the um small small multi action so it can be used independently. So then there is a wait for, for draw and then studio recording. So it records OBS. And after that, it stops recording and it does cam one, which is cam 30 or input number four. I mean, it's input number, it's actually input number six, but it's actually input number two if you look at the actual um, A10, number two. Then after that, it is uh, zero, zero start, which is, it basically goes back to start. And then, um, yeah, then move and stuff. And I don't actually um, have anything there. Next, which is number three. Number three is more kind of, this one is kind of, 
Um, it just is DVD, Apple TV, Doc, and Game On. Game On, basically, what this one does is I'm not going to do an example of it. But what it does, it turns on TV, turns on light, turns on Doc, turns on Cam 1, 2, and... Yeah, and, and then it turns on Stop TV, Cam Stop, which is a... 26 which is a uh, um, number two on the ATM then it does um, 10 10 10 second wait time and then it does start and then it goes ATM and then it goes for six seconds and it literally waits for time and then wait for a stream deck and then it goes to stream start and then after that it will start and then it'll switch to intro and then after intro finish playing it i can then either continue there in like the i can either continue there like because it will go to Stream start, and then it'll go to streaming, and after um, it goes in, it goes here, and then it goes here, and then it ends it with the files being played in that order. And then after that, it goes to Cam 6, and so Cam 6 is number 29, which is the, which will be the camera, um, over there, but it's not gonna refer you out. It's that camera right there because of that's 29. And let's see. So my hands are to shake, but basically. After that one, it basically turns off six and stuff. Then it goes to the intro, stops recording, and then it goes to um, start. Then it basically switch, switches input to back to number one. And then you have um, mic, mic um, three, two, and one mute, and then it turns off of the camera. And turns off TV, turns off deck, turns off cam one, two, and server. And then it also turns off ATEM and display, quits OBS, quit and switches TV to Apple TV, and puts the stream deck to sleep. That's what that big action does. The dock is basically on the lower form. It turns on the TV, switches on ATEM, and switches to input number 26. And then it does Streamlabs. Then, I mean, I mean, Streaming Search. And then it waits 3000. Then it goes to Streaming. Same thing. And let's see, that's it for that one. So, uh, TV, um, just uh, basically Apple TV just turns on the TV and Apple TV, it waits 10 seconds. Same with the DVD, it just plays DVDs and that's done. And um, let's see. I'll go over my actual, um, my other things too. So let me go to that. So, and this is just a record button, volume rocker and stuff. And so, uh, let's see. I'll basically show you what it looks like when, uh, 
when the first one shuts down and then show you what it looks like when it turns back on for the other one. I'm not doing doing the one over on the control from deck, but so when I press this, it brightens this back up and then it turns off all the cameras and then it puts it to sleep. So now I'm gonna show you what the other stream deck does. So when we press this one right here, this one's also this one also this one records, so does the one that's over there. But um not gonna show you that one. So when this one starts up, it turns on all the lights, it turns on the um it turns on that stuff and then it um basically opens up uh, um, OBS and it puts it on this screen and it turns on that camera first switches it to the input and then it switches um, the scene to OBS and then it should start recording. So, after it finishes that, it plays the intro, and then it starts recording. So, we're just showing you how it goes. So, if you see this, it starts recording, it unmutes the microphone, and so it plays my introduction, which is the one I made. And as you can see, it's unmuted and it's recording. So when we want it, when we're done, and we can see when it starts recording, when the little dot stops jumping, I was using a companion to um, see what it would, what the record time is. But companion was having issues with that, and so we stop recording. It plays the outro, which is the same as the intro, saves the file, and then um, it waits some time, and you know when it's wait when the time is done, everything turns off. So that that and those three lights, that light. So this one's the same exact one, but with this one, that turns on. And then um, the TV turns on, and it switches the camera from from their widescreen to a little corner box um, screen, and then which is will be aiming this way. So um, there's that, and so I can look at OBS like it's this on this screen because what's on this screen is also on that screen and that screen because it's mirrored and it's also going to be on the, the tablet right here once it gets back because i had to send it for a repair because it was just doing clicking but so now as you see obs has stopped recording but it is still open and it's still not done so once you see that um mark right there it waits one thousand, one thousand, um, one hundred and twenty thousand seconds, which is uh, um, two minutes. So, once it hits two minutes, it will basically shut all this stuff after down. And while I, while this is happening, um, I got all the cables managed where basically they're out of the way, and none of them mostly get none of them mostly get shown. The only ones that get shown. Are the ones over here when I have it like this um, this doesn't get shown but as you can see everything turned off so and the stream deck went to sleep um, so um, let me just go back over here where um, this uh, setup is that so I'm just turn turning it back on because uh 
I need um, to show you. So once this turns back on, um, I'm just going to show you um, how OBS looks on here. Um, um, so as you can see, everything else turns on. And so, there goes uh, the USB hub turning on. And now, this is turning on, that switch is over there. So, and then the actual um, the, um, other application turns on. So, go in here. So, I have record. Then I have um, talking head, then I have hand cam, and the other one. So those will do one, then two, then three. I mean one, two, three. So the so the one this is one, then it'll do two, then it'll do three, which is under that one, then it'll do four, which is over here, and switches everything back. So and this is how um it's so like this is actually just a temporary one because I just made that icon recently. Um, it's going to be something maybe like those right there. I'm not for sure. I just have given up on the color scheme and um, more. It's more pain of it, but just trying to remake these, I just don't bother anymore. So with this button right here, it switches this monitor to one and two. So it switches on this one, I'll show you. So see this monitor button right here? So when we press it, switches input. And as you can see, it's mirrored here, but it moves to this screen. And so if we look right here, we press it again, it moves, it basically switches an input and then it will move this back over there using the OBS move. I've showed you this inside of a um, video already, the, um, the upload slash copy. Um, so a copy file from there, folder to, um, the import folder and then it gets uploaded to YouTube by itself. Copy will just copy, export one through four, and these are um um what's that called? Uh oh, home home assistant related stuff. So I'm going to show you my actual um, my companion setup because companion is going to get changed. So I have VLC on companion, and I also have um, my A10 and my A10 Mini Pro, and. Then all this stuff is on here. This doesn't exist. This doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. None of this stuff exists. So the only thing it's really doing is this stuff right here, the program view, and also um, that's it. Nothing else on this page. Then also mute mic, and then this one is also doing nothing but the f the faith of black has something and then also previews and next are something on here that i use but that's four things and then the power on and off i can turn off the key light i mean my lights with that command so that's what is on there I have to install the latest version of Companion just to get the 
to get the um, to get rid of any issues because of I had an issue where it would not um, allow me to control. And so, um, this is just a, a switcher for the, um, for the USB matrix right here. Uh, so if we go to, um, so, um, I'm gonna show you my home assistant stuff. Uh, I have a couple scripts that I have um, doing stuff. Um, let's see. Let's see. If we go here, we go to home automation. So on my automation slide, I have it allow me to up the the um, brightness and down the brightness of the lamp and also my um, lights. So these two in front of me, the one behind me, and the one on the side. Then I have scripts. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't remember what most of those do do. But doc zero. Oh yeah, doc one, two, and three are and four are are inputs for the K for the USB K um matrix. Um, five and six. I don't remember. All is basically so selects all, then press number one, two, three, four, and then press enter, which would basically so select the input with 2000 milliseconds, the, the delay in between there. And then there's doc one, two, three, and four. Doc is basically, I mean, one, two, and three. Doc zero is, uh, is basically, um, just the name scheme I use. Number zero is the uh, input number three that goes to the device over there. And then number two goes to the to the dock, I mean to the to the input of this one and then number one goes from over there to over here and then I have lamp down lamp up um the controls for my stream for my um uh, what's the thing called um uh uh, IR codes for my Blu-ray player. Uh, let's see. So, and then XS One is something I don't have anymore. But and nine eight seven six is for changing the IR blast. I mean the IR switch that I have. And number one, two, three, and four is the same exact thing. So that's all these scripts. And they do, and they're based on entities. So, other than that, I have these ones right here, which are um, the files I made for a unboxing video. Um, And so, I'm going to show you. So, if we take this and press the uh, copy. And you have that right here. So now we just go 
to upload. So one second. So it renames it, then it uploads it. And then So this allows me to um, upload a video up to YouTube without uh, with actually having to sit in front of my actual computer and it will upload the file without my interaction and it'll private it for actually me so I can then public it later on. So the only time this actually matters is uh, is that the file is super, super big. And then I could basically just have it, um, and so, as you can see, it's uploading, it's at 54%. So, So yeah, it's so seventy-seven percent, eighty percent, eighty-two percent, eighty-three percent, eighty-four percent, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So sorry about this guy. I'm a little tired. It's literally. I've been up all day and it's ten it's ten at night. I'm actually kinda of tired. I haven't actually gotten much sleep. <laughs> so this is processing it will begin shortly. So and so it now says fifty six minutes until um, processing up to HD so so basically you see that this upload so now if we go here um, 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 you can basically see the contact information right here and um, let's see we'll go right here and name this um, let's see it is a A V A Y via um, H C zero two zero H O two zero huddle camera. So that's what it will look like. You can type in. So unboxing. And now you press save. And so, sorry about that. So, it's saving, the video is being processed. So, 
Um, we go back. It's like that. So now we just go here and go public. And so, done, save, and uh, you'll see this uh, now. Oh, well, like you'll, you'll see the processing HD after, so. And so, then, I, then you can close this after it's done. So, I showed you my Home Assistant, my OBS, and my Stream Deck. I mean, my, I, show, I show you the stuff on my Stream Deck, and then I'm not about to show you my OBS. So, for OBS... Oh yeah, let me just show you real quick. So you see how that file's there. You basically press this button which says delete. It will delete the file. And ta-da, done. So now, um, um, so now that, um, is done, so, um, let me show you my OBS, uh, so set it up. So, I have it, so it's, it's named, so 0 and 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is start, and this is what it's going to start looks like. So, it always goes back to here. Intro, plays the intro video of there. Then, one is Talking Heads, which technically, right now, is my stream deck because of... It's this camera zoomed in on my stream, stream, stream deck. But what this camera is right here, which talking head is, is supposed to be my face camera right here. When I press talking head, it switches that. It switches this input to to input one on the second A table, which is input number five. And then uh, start streaming start, which is uh, Going to be the input for the camera that's going to be right there, and um, and a wide view, and then blackboard is uh, a blackboard is uh, is a I mean hand cam is a ham camera for my for my phone that's portable. Then a blackboard is um the this camera right here in that corner and me allowing me to draw which it's zoomed in then desktop is uh, the same exact uh, is the desktop scene for um recording and it um captures my logo my um my background here it removes the icons and also tells the contact number and also t shows you um and that's right and it shows like this so whatever's in this window gets picked up in OBS and you can see it um and the only thing you see is is the logo and the image then draw which is the uh, um Draw is uh, m um, my unboxing setup, and it also um, is my drawing setup because the draw would be with my drawing pens and pens and pencils over there in the, the outer box or on the outer box, and then the unbox would basically just be anywhere on the desk. And I haven't put a um, wallpaper back there yet because of reasons. Um, then there is um, Reddit. Reddit is super zoomed in, and it um, so sorry, sorry about that. I turned my hand. So other than that. Reddit is number seven. Number eight is stream, which is basically the the desktop 
of which is just the ATEM input, which could be either input number two on this ATEM or input number one on this ATEM. And the camera in the corner would be the camera that goes over there. That's why nothing's there because there's no camera there. Then playback is a little weird. So with playback, it will it will unmute and um then play the actual um play playback through and then done. And um and then it would do playback and then stop. After, so when I press actually the pause button on the playback scene, it will pause the, it will pause the playback and unmute the, the microphone. And then when I basically press play, it will mute the microphone and then continue playback. So I'm not missing anything and it's good for, for, for doing, uh, um, talk over stuff. And then the stream deck, which is just, uh, this stream deck at um in like a overlay kind of sort of thing and uh, this is what it looks like the reason i have it like this is because the stream deck uh, um people like seeing stream deck videos and so i wanted to make some more and i needed a zoom in handheld camera that <sighs> sorry this is actually kind of tiring not not uh, making a video, but it's trying to um um not basically have dead air. So other than that, um, I have uh, um for keyboard maestro. For keyboard maestro is uh, something totally different. So basically, I have a lot of stuff in here. So. So YouTube auto upload is a part of script that basically does clicks and stuff and moves to specific files, open up specific folders, so it can auto upload stuff with with a macro. Then there is active slash deactive. Active will basically tell application Firefox quit, do keystrokes, do number and jelly pad. I mean, I mean doing doing a um, change source uh, into um, number one, which is my my custom wallpaper, and then it'll clear the desktop, and then it'll kill finder. The same, the, that opposite will do that, which is do keystroke, change the desktop back to this wallpaper, then it'll um, create, um, Get rid, get rid of the empty background, and then it'll do kill finder. Yeah, and then the specific um, thing right here will open um, um, a P Oogie tablet, and which is this tablet right here, and allow it to work. Then the Amazon Start, loads of Amazon and VB Edit, and also um, calculator so I can do math for what I want. Auto automation is basically auto um, home assistant and um, Firefox and. Uh, And so, then it'll move and recite. Same thing. These are the exact same things for um, VNH photo, and then, um, and then eBay, and other ones. So, for bounds, bounds is just an Apple script. It means just a Windows text frame that to get uh, the specific files by quit is basically quits firefox calculator and bb edit and then copy is something i was working on which is where um
And so, sorry about all, all the pauses. So with the copy, it will do import folder. So which is that folder over here. Then it will um, move the full, it will move the folder to um, import mp4 to import uh, YouTube mp4. Then it'll basically um, do a um, input uh, command for nothing, which is uh, short shortcuts YouTube and YouTube XL. And then that's about it for that. And then it will do more moving, more moving, removing using RM and um, remove the MKV slash uh, YouTube MKV and from upload MKV. Then there is uh, the anime. I mean, then there's delete, which would delete um, a file inside of uh, the um, file on um, on um, on there. So um, this removes um, the u slash tube that mp4 file and it deletes it. Then um display one basically um says main screen of the source slash app screen number one two and so number two sorry about this pausing um it goes to um display two goes to source two and number two. EBR explained that editing this will start this will activate the um iMovie, then it will or fire or or um or or um what's that software called um uh, uh, um. Final Cut, there we go, sorry, my, my brain is kind of off, is dying right now. What, or Final Cut would open, or if, or iMovie, then it'll move to the front and resize, then wait three seconds, then it'll open the import folder, and then it'll move and resize that. Then editing quit, quits, five, launcher, I mean finder, and relaunches it, then it resizes it, and it quits iMovie. Export, which is uh, this one is kind of weird. Where basically, um, um, it basically does file share file. Uh, wait two seconds. Um, share file, and then it does a if this um condition is met. I just have the same thing on both. Then it will go simulate quit. And so, I'm almost trying my phone, so basically, I, I'm ready to finish this quick. <laughs> so, um, it will simulate return, then it'll save it, and then it'll save it to, and then it'll save it to, um, um, the import folder with long name. So, and when it gets saved there, I run the, I run the, the copy command, which will then copy it to this folder and this folder. So, YouTube and YouTube upload. It gets copied here as a date, since it's already named as a date there. It gets named as a date with variables on to um the um file and it gets put 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 into the folder and then this one gets named as u dot tube I mean u space tube and then it will um transfer and then it'll transfer and rename I then can 
um, upload it in, as private, and then when it gets uploaded private, I can then re-rename it later, later, later on and release it. Um, let's see. Export headphones, mic, and mute. So this mutes uh, my headphones and mic. This mutes the headphones. Um, hide, basically, just hides uh, the, um, the create desktop false command. Sorry, my arm is killing me. Okay, so next one is home page. It loads my home page, quits my home page. Monitor two is basically the monitor a NAS. It basically opens my NAS page. And so display net, display print. The display it prints and displays network to traffic, network to trash, displays network trash, random is just randomizer, open slash quit is a And so show is a show command speak speaker mute mic mic mute mutes the speaker stream deck which um this one opens the stream deck to a web browser for, for like editing and then there is stream deck which basically defeats the um, purpose of all this stuff, but I like it because it uses um because it's hosted on my network. So Stream Deck reboot allows me to switch the reboot the Stream Deck. A switch allows me to um, add image to source one, and then it changes. And then, um, this one also switches sor sources to, which is number two. Um, Mac actually, Time Machine bits and backs on my Mac using the TMU command. Open. So, sorry, 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 sorry. My actual hand just, I was falling asleep, so. I, I need to finish this so quickly so I can go to sleep. So, start, quit, I mean, video quit. So, video start is a, um, opens OBS, BB edit, and, um, wait three seconds, then it pauses, fresh those, and then it rearranges them, then it opens. T Gal, I mean T, T Yugi ta, ta, tablet opens it and then minimizes it and then quits basically quits all three of them and it will run the tail application and BB edit for example to quit an error if an on error a message number number Error number, if error number is equal to 128, then keep calm and carry on. Else, display dialog error message. And if, try it and try. So what this one does, so what, what this, um, 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 Apple script does, it allows you to, um, it allows you to basically just quit, quit any application if, if it gives an error, error, error code 20, um, 1, 20, 28, which is an error that is, if it basically doesn't have a way to clean, cleanly shut down, which OBS doesn't, then, um, it basically caught, basically this is what happened when it force quits. It, that's what keep calm and carry, carry, carry on us. So, um, then there's VLC clone start and stop. So start is basically, you see where it says off, off, turn VLC off. That's actually VLC on, but I mislabeled the actual, um, 
the um the ch mod c i mean u plus x uh, um command as off instead of on so i had to would have to remake uh, the whole like script file and i just didn't feel like it so i just put off on um on on and on on off so it starts vlc if not open it brings it to the front and it waits three seconds then it does this command which would um change the sound inputs from uh, the 1808 all the way to the um all the way to the um main um um to the main uh, um sound which would be usually black magic then um it says activate leave in front so the reason it does that is because when it activates this it brings it to the front then it does this which means it's not in, in, in front anymore so it brings it front again and then vlc will basically quit vlc wait three seconds and close the command which will switch it back from off from h from black magic um audio back to to eight so then there's web pages which is just a whole bunch of web pages i visit sorry this is my arm is getting really tired so and so normally if i wanted to rec if i wanted to record this uh, setup and the stream deck and in the stream deck, I have to turn. I have to press this button to turn it on and record this setup. Since when this turns on, I'll show you what this command does. So when this command turns on, I'll show you. So when this one turns on, it basically um, makes the stream deck dark darker. It turns on the light behind me. It turns on these two lights right here. It turns on display, and then it turns on ATEM. And and so the ATEM is over there, and so it turns on. And so going over here, it basically then it will do um a twenty thousand millisecond wait, which is twenty seconds. Then after that, it will do zoom, zoom, zoom with a second delay in between them all the way down to so it can't zoom anymore. Then it waits one second and turns on the um, the um, USB hub, which is has that camera hooked, hooked into it. So because then I just had everything turned turn, turn on and then zoom. That camera, that camera, that camera over there would zoom in by themselves. I mean, it would zoom in because of the IR blaster would be controlling that one. Because I use the IR blaster to, to control it, there's no other way of controlling it using you using the actual ATEM. Um, I mean, using the... Um, using the... Um, what's that thing called? Um, using the iron blaster, iron blaster. Um, so cam on, and then it waits three, then it waits two seconds, and then it switches to the um cam seven, which is the camera right above me up here, and then it basically waits. Then it waits um uh two thousand two thousand milliseconds, which is two seconds, then it starts OBS and then it start then starts video starts or starts OBS and other stuff. And then while that's finishing up, then I could basically um while while it finishes up it would go to here and then finish up. And then after that it will do um Stream deck brightness back to um me to medium, then it waits a one thousand um one second, and then it basically switches to to um camera twenty 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 
twenty um five, which is which is the one that's right here on the ATEM using companion. I mean the stream deck using companion. Then it turns off light, turns on, turn off camera, turn off, uh, and turn, 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 turn off cam one, turn off cam two, turn off camera, and turn off, um, 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 eight, eight m, and then it turns off display, and then it waits, um, a millisecond, and then it quits OBS, and then ta da with that. And so then um when I press that it will turn it off. So going back to um the one where it records. So for this one which is recording for recording this one this basically turns uh, on TV on light on deck on dock, which is basically the monitor over behind me, and then it turns on cam two, cam one, and ATEM, and turns on cam afterwards. So basically, um, which is camera, which is the USB hub that's behind the desk. And the reason why it does that is because of, in order to use the keyboard and mouse on this guy, this guy has to be on, and so does uh, the actual, um, um, H the the uh, USB hub, and then I can basically switch between input one and input two, and also use it to play the games on here use, using the controller when uh, when when the one is hooked up to my um um when it's hooked up to my um um what's that thing called um. Oh, Novel Bleach and Go. And then it switches to ATEM, which is on my TV input the number two. And then after that, it starts recording, um, switches inputs, and then you can just switch back afterwards. And so for number two, which is probably um, the one I use the most because I. Um, do a lot of unboxings. Um, for so, so so for example, this one, um, this one, um, could, uh, um, this one, um, will, um, this one, um, it uh, turns on lamp. It turns on lamp and then it turns on light, cam two, cam one, ATM, server, and then it zoom, 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 and then goes down uh twice uh, when uh, when using um the IR blaster and then um it goes to camera camera on which is the USB hub. Then it turns on camera six, which is basically um, just so the um, it's just the unboxing area, and then it starts. Then it basically goes to there, and then it starts recording, and it goes to draw, which is my unboxing and drawing area. And then I also have this right here available just in case I need to do this by itself. This is just for, that's if it's off, but I could basically just have everything on and then record it myself. So it just does a lot of stuff. If you want more of a detailed video about this, um, charge um i can i can do a more video but i can help you set up something like this but this was actually um not all made in one day this was like made within months of time so um if you want to um get some help set, setting this up just contact me and 
Um, I wouldn't want to have to write this all out in an email because of I really just walk you through, 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 through it, and especially because of I could talk about it a lot more with Trish when I'm not tired. Um, I'm just a little bit exhausted right now, and I've been talking for an hour and 25 minutes. So, um, so basically, so so on how let's just say I'm um done um with the, the video, okay? I would press this, but let me just set something up real quick. One second. So, and how I wrap stuff up when I'm done with it, with if, if I'm on this cell setup or any other cell setup, I just press the off button. And it turns off everything and puts the stream deck to sleep. Like so. Yeah, so, thanks for watching. And, uh, um, this is how this ends. And,. Hope you enjoyed it, and rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.